What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Hero Spotlight, featuring our newest hero, Chip, the Phase Technician. As an easygoing fox who's adept at using portals to bypass life's troubles, Chip's unique kit will open the way to some unexpected strategies. Phase Technician, Chip. Passive. Snack time! Chip starts eating potato chips when out of combat, recovering some of his lost HP after finishing a bag. Chip will then be full for a period of time and won't sneak a bite until it wears off. First skill, Crash Course. Chip overcharges his hovercraft and rams it into the ground, dealing magic damage to nearby enemies and applying Chip's mark to enemy hero's hit. Chip will gain a shield if this skill hits an enemy hero, and each additional hero hit strengthens the shield. Chip's next basic attack also becomes ranged and will hit all nearby enemies that have Chip's mark and detonate the mark to deal magic damage and briefly stun the target. Second skill, Overtime. Chip starts gaining movement speed. After reaching the max speed, he'll maintain it for a brief period. Chip's next basic attack will also cause him to charge at the target, dealing magic damage and knocking them back slightly. Ultimate! Shortcut! Chip deploys a portal on top of an enemy hero, dealing magic damage and slowing them. After a delay, this main portal will deal magic damage to nearby enemies and slow them. The main portal inherits a percentage of Chip's HP. At the same time, connecting portals will be created next to allied heroes and behind the allied base. Both allied and enemy heroes can touch the connecting portals to teleport to the main portal, and allied heroes will gain extra movement speed when they arrive at the main portal. Allied and enemy heroes can stand on the main portal for a moment to return to the connecting portal they came from. The main portal and connecting portals will disappear after a certain amount of time. Special, why walk? Why walk when you can teleport? Chip can access four pre-placed teleport beacons around the map. Standing on a beacon will activate the special skill which allows him to teleport to any other beacon. When ganking, use Chip's second skill to quickly get behind the target and knock them into your team with the enhanced basic attack. Then follow up with his first skill and another basic attack to stun them. Chip is usually the initiator for his team. In team fights, use Chip's second skill preemptively to build up speed, then hit a target with his basic attack and deploy the main portal with his ultimate. Follow up with his first skill on the enemy and another basic attack to stun them while the main portal's delayed effect slows them and continue the fight as allies portal in. Chip's kit not only makes him a very strong roamer, it also provides unique strategic advantages in team fights. At level 1, upgrade Chip's first skill and continue to prioritize upgrading it as his main source of damage that also provides CC. Since Chip's first skill grants a shield based on the number of heroes hit, try to hit as many as possible to increase his survivability. Chip's second skill needs time to reach max speed and can only be maintained for a limited duration, so judge when to activate the skill based on the distance to carry out successful ganks. Chip's main portal can be destroyed by enemies, so avoid deploying his ultimate in the midst of a prepared enemy team. Chip's special allows him to teleport between four beacons on the map, but it has a considerable cooldown, so grasp the proper timings to gank more often. We recommend the Support Emblem with the Agility, Pull Yourself Together, and Focusing Mark talents for Chip. In this emblem setup, Pull Yourself Together provides cooldown reduction on Chip's special skill for roaming, and Focusing Mark enhances his damage contribution as a support. For Chip's build, we recommend Dominance Ice and Rapid Boots for his core equipment. The high movement speed they provide is well suited for Chip's roaming playstyle. Grab Athena Shield and Antique Curus to enhance Chip's survivability, and fleeting time in the late game to unlock the full potential of his ultimate. 
we recommend the Petrify Battle Spell for Chip. Since Chip's ultimate has a delay before it takes effect, combining it with Petrify can maximize his CC. We also recommend the Flicker Battle Spell to make up for Chip's lack of a blink ability. When facing heroes with long range attacks or the ability to frequently traverse walls, Flicker is a good option to keep up with the enemy. Chip possesses strong initiation and CC abilities, making him a great counter against heroes with low mobility or those who are relatively squishy, such as Vexana, Layla, and Ixia. Since enemies can also use Chip's connecting portals, certain heroes with strong teamfighting abilities, like Barretts and Tigreal, can use them to their advantage. Chip's ultimate allows his team to group up from anywhere, so he works well with heroes who can't cross the map quickly but excel in teamfights, such as Alpha, Hanabi, and Kadita. Chip is a hero with great map mobility. In the early game, use his second skill and special skill to roam and gank lanes with great efficiency. In the late game, Chip's portals can open up all sorts of unique tactics. His ultimate allows teammates to split push and still join the fight at a moment's notice and lets them hop on the gank train from anywhere. Chip, the phase technician, arrives March 16th. Enjoy 30% off on launch week. Get Chip's Nexus Engineer skin for only 51 diamonds during the first two weeks. Forget your worries and come relax with Chip. And until next time, we'll be seeing you in the Land of Dawn.